Well, let's conclude our look at hatching by looking at some real world examples. Let me roll out just a little. There's some hatching on my left. Can you see that that hatching doesn't extend to the edge of the bed? It indicates some ground cover planting. It's done in much the same way as the hatching in this area here. So let me just select it. We have an ellipse here. The ellipse is filled, um, so it's just one entity and filled. And then what's been done is that a polyline has been used to draw a zone and curve fitting's not been applied. And there's another zone down here, but hatching has been applied to those areas. So we can remove the polyline around those. So now we have an entity, the grassed area, which is an ellipse, overlain by or with some hatching overlying that particular entity. Over here is some standard 45 degree hatching. So you can see that diff for different purposes in a landscape design, you can use different styles of hatching. I've made the thickness of this line one millimetre. So let's move it back by a layer. And there we have a more subtle look.